Okay, there we are. We've finished the size here. Nice finish on it. That's all we need. Now, next thing we've got to do is turn these side flanges so that we have a nice fit inside the crankshaft. Now, we really want about 0.1 of a millimetre clearance, 0.1 to 0.2, that'd be okay. We can measure across here. Uh, we, we need a value of about um, 54 millimetres. So if we look across there, we've got a fair amount to clean up or to take off. So the first thing we do is just take a skim off the front of this to establish uh, some reference point. I use a, um, a high-speed steel again, just a front cutting edge here. I've sharpened it up, honed it up nice and sharp. Nice 20 degree cutting angle, gives a good finish. We take out the turning tool. And it's double sided that tool, so I can cut one side or the other. And it's long enough to finish that edge off. Come across there. Lock him up. Bring that through. Don't forget to set the the feed rate for cross slide, and we can take a cut there. We can just take a guess there of how much we've come off this. We've set that to 54 millimetres. We've got a fair amount to come off, we just even that up. And on this side here, putting it to there, the width of it, of the steel parts there, if we can manage, is um, 48 millimetres. So We've got six millimetres to come off before. So about three millimetres each side. So if I put that on there and measure another three millimetres, that's 51, and put that back on there, you can see that's what I've got to come off that side. So I can feed this through now. Feed it through to the other side here. There it is. Just establish where I am. There 
there we are on the edge there take it back and now I can just take a cut on that face Take a measurement across there, 51 should be about right, that's pretty well near it, maybe a little bit more, but you can see I can just use, um, use my uh, compound slide here to take what I need and, and then face it off. Now a couple of things, you can see why I bored the centre out uh, larger than it was. It takes, you see how the boring bar is going through into, into the centre fixture here. And we need to have a little bit of clearance. Otherwise we're going to have to shorten our bar up. The other thing is, make sure that the, the connecting rod is a certain distance from the plate here. Because we need to put our vernier calipers in that portion there, in that place there. Okay, if it's too close, we end up grinding something off here or using a ruler or something like that and not getting a, a good measurement from it. Alright, so now once we've done that, we then face off the other end to our 40, uh, 54 millimetres minus um, 0.1, which will give us about 5,000 clearance on the side of the flange. Alright, let's go and do that.